we have made our 10th signing of the summer transfer window. Us, Barnsley FC, are not fucking around. You know, so guys, as you can see by the title and the clips I've just shown you and the pictures, we've made our 10th summer signing and like I say, we are not fucking about. 10 signings in this window, we might be out on pre-season, we might be over in Germany, but we're still signing players. This one's been linked for a while, as you saw by one of the pictures I've just shown you, someone did see Connor Chaplin going into um, Barnsley Oakwell the other day, so it has been rumoured for a while and we was meant to sign him a bit ago so we're going to get into all them facts and figures we're going to talk about Connor Chaplin some facts and figures and I'm going to give you my opinion on him firstly we're going to talk about the fee and how much they signed him for um, it is a four year deal just like the majority of the players we have signed um, every single guy we've signed so far I do believe has been a three or a four year deal so like I say he's another young player he's only the age of 22 year old and we're signing for these four years, so we're building for the future, like I've mentioned in many videos. Also, the fee is rumoured to be around one million British pounds. So, but some sources are saying it's a bit lower, some sources are saying a bit higher. But the main rumour is around a million pound. Another striker to the edition, in my opinion, that will be the signings done for Barnley. Ten signings, and that'll be us. For the championship transfer August window. Um, I did say before the, um, we went on tour we needed another signing. We signed Wilkes just before we went. Or that's when they announced it. And um, we've just announced this one now. This is our other striker. So clearly Stendhal doesn't think Miller and Adabea Joe are going to be good enough. So Connor Chaplin will be our backup striker. And, how, and in my opinion it's a good backup striker. He's proven himself in the championship last year. Um, Mixed opinions from the Barnsley and some Coventry fans. Some Barnsley fans are raving about him, some Barnsley fans are a bit... Some Coventry fans are sad because he's leaving because he was a good player. And some are making out they were their fourth choice striker. So if you have a Coventry fan or a Barnsley fan watching this, let me know your thoughts on the signing. I'm going to give you a couple of facts and figures and go through um, stuff about him. And then I'm going to give you my opinion after. So yeah, a few bits about Connor Chaplin, his name, full name is Connor Mark Chaplin. Date of birth is the 16th of February 1997 and he's 22 years of age with well, a four year deal leading up to he'll be about 26 year old. So another youngster into the squad, our oldest player I do believe is 26 which is more on Pilinos and Dougal if I am right. Place of birth is Worthington in England, so he is a British lad. Um, playing position. He's preferred as a second striker behind the striker or as a backup striker. His height is five foot six according to Wikipedia. So he's not the tallest, but he is meant to be quite rapid and quite skillful going forward. Current team, Barnsley. He has been for his youth career, he has been a Portsmouth player for quite a while. Um from there from 2003 all the way up to 2014. And between 2014 and 2019, he did play for Portsmouth senior team, making 104 appearances, scoring 22 goals. So within that time, his game time has been spread over the three, four years he's been there, scoring 22 goals for Portsmouth senior team. Whereas in 2018 to 2019, which was last season, he did get loaned to Coventry City, where Coventry had a really good season, finishing a couple of places outside the playoffs, I do believe, or even one place, I think it was one or two, finished seventh or eighth. He went alone there for one season, playing 20 games, scoring five goals. 
and also in another spell at Coventry, playing 11 games, scoring three goals. So, and then in 2019, on to Barnsley. So, like I say, the fee is looked at around £1 million. Like I've already said, a couple of people are happy to do with this signing, and a couple of people are thingy. Um, like I say, he's proven himself in League One. He would be a really good backup striker for us last year, as that's when we did try to get him, as we got relegated to League One. And during the winter transfer window, we was linked with him. There was speculation, but then the deal never actually went through. Similar to the situation we had with, we had with McBurney ages ago. We were trying to get him, but the other club were being a bit thingy about it. But now we're in the Championship, being able to offer that bit more money, that bit bigger wages, because we've got a bit more money through promotion and through winning more games. We've been able to get the deal done on a four-year deal. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it's going to be our backup striker or replacement, if I had to guess, for whenever more or will Joe gets dropped or gets injured or anything like that. I remember when we played them twice last year, I went to both games at the Rico Arena and at Oakwell. Um, the one at our place, which was more towards the end of last season, which we drew to all. I don't think he started, he might have come on a sub, but I can't remember his performance. But I remember right at the start when we played him at their place, and I remember losing 1-0. It was one of my first away days. I remember that was around the time where he was linked with us, he played. I'm pretty sure he scored the goal against us, if not I do apologise, but when we played them at their game against Rico Arena, he did have a good game, he played very well. Just like that Luke Thomas, who signed two Coventry players now, even though one of them has been on loan there. Um, we signed two of their players and they, they both played well against us this season. Thomas scoring that peach of a goal at our place last year, and I'm sure Chaplin scored against us at their place, but if I'm wrong, I do apologise, a million pound, um, very, very cheap in today's football and it's a very cheap bargain if he turns out to be the backup striker that we want. I know I keep seeing backup striker but that's me presuming that we're going to keep Woodrow and Moore and they're both going to play up front together but there's also Barre to squeeze in behind the striker and Thomas and Brown and Wilkes and Tiam and Mauer McGee and there's so many options going forwards for the Reds next season. Um, like I've already said, he's five foot six. We signed him earlier today. Well, it will have been a couple of weeks ago, but it's been announced today. He's flown out and met the lads in Germany. Not sure if he'll play in the game tomorrow. I doubt it, but he's... Um, I could do. It depends how long he's actually been signed. But he's over there training with the lads. And like I was saying, a million pound is cheap in today's football. So if it turns out, it's really good signing. Five foot six, so... Just a bit smaller than me, believe it or not. Um, not the biggest. He's not going to be winning many aerial battles up front. Like Woodrow won't be winning many. But he's meant to be really good with his feet. Really versatile. Um, knows how to run at a defender and can take him on. His finishing is meant to be very good as well. Yeah, like I say, he's, I wouldn't say he's proven his sin. But he's done bits in the championship, in the League 1, sorry. He's scored goals in the League 1. He's helped Coventry get to where they finished last season. Yep, yeah, really versatile and come run at his man. Commentary fans are a bit hit and miss. Some are disappointed to see him leaving and saying that we've got a cracking player like they did with Luke Thomas and like praising him and that and saying he's a good player and he'll do bits for us. And some are obviously, you could say it's the salty ones that are salty that he's left for their team. But a, lot of, a couple of them I've seen uh, making out that, like I said earlier in the video, he was their fourth choice striker. So I guess we'll see how he fares for us. We've technically now got five strikers with Woodrow, Kiefer Moore, Connor Chaplin, Victor Adebayo, and I don't know what his first name is, but Miller. So there's a lot of options for Stendhal to choose between. Um, I want you to subscribe if you're new, first of all, and let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts on this signing. Um, we've been linked with him for ages and it we, we all knew it would come in with the rumours and everything. Rumours that you're having a medical early in the week. But you never believe anything until it actually gets announced or you see some real leaked footage like the picture of Connor Chaplin going into Oakwell. Because obviously fans would have been down at Oakwell either looking at the ground or 
purchasing a shirt from the club shop or buying something from the club shop or go getting tickets or season tickets. So someone's seen him, so it's been linked for a while and we should have signed him the other year but we've finally got the deal through which is great. Overall I'm happy with the signing, very good signing, 10 signings. We've not slowed down with business. We usually leave everything to the last minute so I'm glad we've not done that. We've won the biggest transfer windows I've seen since I've been sporting Reds. Um, buying quite a lot of players so hopefully it's going to pay off and help us in the championship next year thank you for watching and i will see you tomorrow